Namaste Skirts and welcome back to my channel. As some of you might know, I am a research fellow at the European Space Agency in Madrid at the European Space Astronomy Center. Here, I am doing research on dark matter, dark energy and galaxy clusters. In this week's video, I'm going to be talking about life working at ESA. So let's jump right into it. day for me starts off at 6 a.m. It's really hot in Spain so if you want to go to the gym it's usually best to do it super early or very very late and I'm an early bird. I live about five minutes away from work but usually I cycle. It's a great way to wake me up because there's a lovely view and lovely scenery on the way in. When we get into work our work has a flexi time system. This means we have to swipe in before 9.30 and we can't swipe out until four o'clock. But this is a really good thing because it allows you to acknowledge what hours you're actually working and keep a good work-life balance. Usually I will spend about an hour in the gym doing a bit of cardio and a bit of weights. It's really convenient having our gym on site. It means that we can come and go when we want. Usually when I'm in there at 7 a.m. in the morning, it's completely empty. So I have complete control over the music. So breakfast is served at the canteen from 8 a.m. onwards. And it's usually a great place to catch up with colleagues about work and about social life. Usually I'll take a smoothie and some toast. And then afterwards, I will head back into the office here, where the first thing I always, always, always do is check the archive. So this is the website where you can keep up to date with the latest developments in astronomy, astrophysics, and all sorts of academic areas, really. I also go through my emails, and then today I'm working on some machine learning code. Later in the day, I'll be finished off writing my paper. It's surprising how much reading and writing is required in research, but that's just how it is. Right now, my office mate is going to be giving a seminar talk, so let's head over and see that. This is the shiny new Galileo room. This is where the scientific processing of the GNSS satellite uh, data is being done. For those of you who are not familiar with GNSS, it's basically the European version of GPS. Here, the team is working on scientific analysis of data to predict all the effects that are gonna affect the GNSS signal. So things like water vapor and the ionosphere. At lunchtime, pretty much everyone goes to the canteen and it's pretty cheap for a meal. Let's check out what's on the menu today. Not everyone working at ESA works full-time research like myself. Of the about 400 employees employed at ESAC, only about 10 of us are full-time researchers as research fellows. The others do things like science operations, mission development and planning, data archiving. This is great because it means that ESA can employ a very diverse background of people academically. Some people have PhDs, some people don't, but they come from computer scientists, mathematicians, engineers, to geologists, all sorts of things. This here is the XMM operation room. XMM is an X-ray space telescope that is looking at the high energy universe. It's been running since 1999, and as you can see, not much has changed. At three o'clock, the research fellows usually meet up for coffee or fresh orange juice, or sometimes even both in the social club it is an amazing place to just hang out, chill, relax, and do some reading. Speaking of which, we have an amazing library up in the D building, but to be honest, I haven't used that that much. 
Right now, we have a very special exhibition going on up there. It's especially made for the summer school that we run for the kids up here. Let's go and check it out. Having a good work-life balance is very important to ESA. And so you'll see that employees will come in and out of classes throughout the day. Things like teachers coming in to teach us anything from Spanish to say Chinese. We have coaches especially come in to teach basketball, tennis, football. There's also an allotment. So if you like gardening, then you can go there and grow your own vegetables or whatever. Me personally, I'm involved in rock climbing and the environmental club. But there's also open days and open evenings set up by like the astronomy club. And there's also trips to the bar with like employees after work. Tonight, however, is a very special evening. We have a special screening of the Armstrong movie. And this is specially to commemorate the Apollo moon landings. Easter is my dream job. And it really is as cool as it seems. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions for working life at ESA. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe.